We have some news this morning. Marcelo Claré, uh, who runs the SoftBank International, also uh, COO of SoftBank, largely an architect behind a lot of what we've seen SoftBank do over the past several years, uh, is going to be leaving the company. Uh, our understanding is that is happening today. Uh, there have been negotiations that have taken place now for several months. Uh, Marcelo, of course, was the CEO of Sprint, uh, merged that into T-Mobile. Our understanding is he will remain a board member at T-Mobile. He will also remain a board member at Televisa uh, Univision. Um, he, of course, was also behind the WeWork transaction, uh, SoftBank uh, getting into that transaction and then effectively uh, saving it, though, of course, uh, there are now questions of, about the value, the long-term value uh, of WeWork and how much SoftBank uh, will make or not uh, from that transaction. But a giant in the world of SoftBank and what was going on throughout the valley uh, over the past several years, uh, our understanding is that he intends uh, to start a new fund, uh, perhaps on his own. We will see. Uh, but um, that is the news. Andrew, he was also very involved in the Latin American fund and looking at companies there. It also raises questions about Matsuyoshi-san's succession, right? We've been talking about this for years, and Marcelo Clare was potentially thought as one of these people who might be there. We've seen in the past, too, there was yep. another name, Nikesh Aurora, who had this position, who left as well. And the narrative around that was that Matsuyoshi-san wasn't going anywhere for a long time. Do you think that that could have something to do with this? You know, I, I have not gotten uh, to the bottom of, uh, of exactly uh, why they landed where they have. I think that um, having covered and, and known Marcelo Claret for some time, uh, he's, a, he's an entrepreneur, um, uh, of course, uh, started, started Bright Star many, many years ago and then has now run and operated uh, many businesses. Um, I could see, you know, I, there's some part of me that thinks that Marcelo is going to be, the could be or try to be, uh, the next Masa son in many ways. And so um, I, I think we're going to continue to, I don't think he's going anywhere. I think we're going to see a lot more of him, uh, but uh, probably in a, in, a diff, in, in, a, in a different outfit this time. That would be quite uh, the next act, Andrew. Thanks for bringing us that news. Uh, fascinating. Can't wait to see what he does next.